Hi folks, Harley Tuck here with MI Squared and the third video in the series on Clinical Decision Rules, or CDRs. This video shows how a regular staff person would interact with CDRs. There's no creation or configuration activities, just what they would do with CDRs while delivering care to a patient. These instructions apply to the Open EMR versions from 4.2.1 and the interface and panels work the same in those older visions as we see here. I'm logging into my Open EMR as Walter O'Reilly, who is authorized to access patients' clinical records and therefore can use CDRs. Let's look at patient Charles Cooper's record. Oh, look at that. New do clinical reminders. Okay, these are all the new CDRs, both active and passive, that apply to this patient and that were activated since the last time this patient's record was opened. A whole lot of these have to do with things I started up just to make this demo, so not a lot of times is it going to be this many. Maybe some house policy changed and new CDRs were activated that didn't used to be. This lets you know about that. The screen is informational only. Click on the OK and keep going. Walter, we can call him Radar, will then see the pop-up showing any active alert CDRs for this patient. And for this patient, we've got these ones on top, the wellness check, weight, blood pressure, colon cancer, etc. And these at the bottom will be this patient's new active alerts that were added since the last time this pop-up popped up for this patient. Click close. Which finally brings us to the patient summary screen. At the top right, we see the clinical reminder widget, and it shows the current status of all the reminders that apply to this patient. You'll notice that they all say past due, that's because I, Harley Tuck, haven't bothered to keep up with these demo patients' procedures, and they've all gone past due. In a real practice, I'd hope most of these would just say due. Let's look at the CDR entries here. Some are blue links, blue links, okay, and some are just black plain text. They all have a question mark at the end. So let's look at the question mark first. Let's say our doctor comes up and asks, who wrote this clinical reminder on the colon cancer screening? I want to ask them what references they used. Well, radar hovers the mouse pointer over the question mark on the colon cancer and says right there, rule developer TM. The doctor says, oh, TM made this. Never mind. I know he uses the up-to-date resources. Or maybe radar tells the patient, the colon cancer screening's past due. How about we line you up with a referral for that? The patient asks, uh, do you have any literature on that that I could have? I want to read up on it first. Radar clicks the question mark. And certainly we do. I'm printing it out for you right now. And this clicks and it will come out to whatever printer that this computer is connected to. The blue items are linked to a completion pop-up where the results of that procedure are recorded. Let's say the patient told Radar that he couldn't do the annual wellness check today after all. So you click on the link text, set the date for presumably today, completed equals no, and make a note about the delay or the lack of completion procedure delayed per patient request and click save. Now you see the CDR remains on the CR widget waiting for completion. You can click on it to see what the status is and see the note. Okay, cancel takes it back. Or maybe the nurse just told Radar that they'd finished the annual wellness check. 
click on the blue link enter the date and time completed yes put in the remark and these remarks can be anything that you guys want it to be completed by nurse M. Houlihan click save and the CDR is gone from the widget now let's let's look at the black text CDRs they also have the question mark that we that works as we've seen the black text CDR monitors some location inside the patient's record and waits for some data to be entered this patient has a couple of those let's do their tobacco assessment which is done in the patient history edit go to lifestyle let's say this person's tobacco habit was vaping and they've quit as of a year ago good going Charles and you save back to the patient and it's off this the clinical reminders now this is wonderful but one big question is since the blue linked CDRs don't record data to the patient record how do you access the information on the completed ones well up here in the clinical reminders widget you click the edit button and this shows you all of them with their current status you see the not do items that we just finished uh, that's a different one here but we did do this one um, the black text item like this assessment tobacco for example is connected to the patient's lifestyle data so if you want to read what was recorded there you have to go there the blue link CDR we can click on and read the record so click on that and we can see the whole thing now if one of these got completed by accident you can reverse it just come into where we are right now click on the edit button of the line with the completed yes right there brings it up to the top change completed to no and hit save now see this comes back to being past due and when you go back to the patient that CDR comes back onto the widget now the black text CDRs work differently than the blue link ones I suppose technically it is possible to reverse one but the thing is they complete themselves as a result of clinical activities and so reversing one of them would mean that you're falsify falsifying a clinical record so let's not do that and that is how a clinical staff user interacts with OpenEMR5's CDRs thank you and catch you next time